Hello, I'm Thursday, and today I would like to talk about interaction log mode. And it's something I've been using for a long time when I do presentations in Emacs, and I want to show uh, the shortcuts that I'm, that I'm uh, typing. And so you can tell you how a shortcut here, so you can see here on the right hand side. So it says nice colors, and again, you can toggle information. So show only file loads, everything. So I can Emacs, you can see that that's printed there as well. I prefer to hit T to only show commands. That's it, that's what I'm really interested in. Um, the name is a problem for me, I cannot remember it, so that's part of why I'm recording this screencast. It's called interaction log mode, it's not command log mode, which is what's kind of <laughs> what I always end up finding when I'm Googling this because I've been asked several times about it. So it's interaction load mode. And um, of course it's on GitHub, like pretty much everything. And a, one problem is that if I do control X1, it disappears. And it's kind of annoying that I had to hit a shortcut to get it back or, or I'm using something like, I don't know, Mugget or some other package that somehow grabs all, all the screen real estate. So what I always do is that I have separate frames. So here I'm logged in over SSH, so it's in the terminal, but it's a little bit the same thing on desktop. Um, and then I have the log open there. So no matter what I do on the left hand side in my main Emacs, I still get this interaction log on the right hand side because it is a separate, separate email. And uh, with this trick, um, it's great. Um, recommend it, check it out. Uh, you can package install it or add it in other ways. That's it really.